hello everybody and uh, of all ages and ladies and gentlemen of the audience. <clears throat> Good evening and welcome to another uh, welcome to another episode of the MC Radio Show. I'm your humble Mike Kamal here on here on a lovely Wednesday evening at about about eight o'clock. Um, I'm reporting you live from my uh, from my bedroom here in my production office. Um, here to talk about um, everything and anything, I guess. Um, so yeah, guys, it is midweek um, here. It is Wednesday night. Um, it is um, it is a joyous day because um, because well, it's the middle of the week. It's Wednesday. What can I say? Um, so everybody, this is today. It's the twenty eighth of August, twenty nineteen. Um, I'm here. I'm happy to come to you guys live. Well, not live, but semi live from my bedroom uh, for the second episode this series. Um, I am happy to be your host and uh, to host the topics that I will be talking about tonight. Um, the last topic I talked about was the story that inspired me to help others. Well, the Bible story that inspired me to help others. Um, so yes, currently, um, right now, I am, well, in about half an hour, I'm going to be switching over to the, uh, well, not be switching over, but I'm going to be joining the chat on the one of uh, a YouTubers, a fellow YouTubers live stream um, right now. So um, before I say anything first, I know a few of you have dropped out um, from my subscriber count because I've changed my format. I kind of expected that to happen. Um, I hope you guys are not too bummed out about that. For the 35 of you left, um, this is the format to stay. If it's not successful, then then I might obviously uh, change it a little bit. Um, so, uh, as I said, these are going to run 15 to 20 minutes. If you guys don't like the format, that's obviously it's freedom of speech, freedom of choice. You guys don't have to stick around because people have their preferences, I guess. And you guys obviously, um, if you guys want to leave, you guys want to leave because, but, but for those of you who want to stick around and see this through here in the second episode of the uh, series, uh, welcome to the second episode of the series if you're watching it. Um, so yeah guys, so what I'm going to do today is I'm not going to do a top five, I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, um, I'm going to tell you guys that as I'm going to, you know, go over some things that have been happening lately and, um, some events that are coming up. For me and uh, what else not. Um, so uh, it's come to my attention that um, that I that I need to give you guys a little bit of a background of why uh, my my educational background, so you guys will know what I'm what I'm. Uh, what I'm like and what I'm into and what my skills are. Um, so, my educational history, folks, was started in the mid to late 90s back at uh, St. Joseph's Elementary, uh, St. Joseph's, um, well, at um, well, at the preschool, uh, nursery school over here in Avon. It's still around. I was there for, uh, I was there for so many years and then Eventually, I graduated onto middle school, um, into elementary school at Ralph D. Butler, and then while well, while well, I was at St. Joseph's um, Catholic School for uh, kindergarten and um, f yes, for kindergarten and first grade, and then eventually I went to Avon uh, Elementary, Ralph D. Butler Elementary School here in here in Avon, Mass. Um, I was there from third grade all the way till to my rise to uh, sixth grade at um, at uh, 
the uh, Avon Mill High School, which I only attended till seventh grade, um, which were some interesting years for me because is where I started to discover uh, about 11, 12, 13 is when I started to discover that uh, I had a learning difference. Um, and I do have a learning difference for those of you who will do that. I may do a topic on that later. Um, maybe I'll do maybe do that on Friday or maybe Monday next week. Um, but it's when I started to, to figure out that I had a learning difference and that I um, and that I was different from other people. And I figured I needed to make a change. I went to uh, learning prep school in Newton. I went from 7 to 12. I had a middle year, so technically I had five years. And then I eventually was going to not Dilly College, but then I went to college right after high school. I went to Massasoit Community College from 2009 to 2012. And then I graduated from there with the with the uh, Associates in Science, um, Human Services, because I did Human Services back then, um, uh, slash psychology. And that's where I started to find out that I was really good at psychological arts and I had, I had a very big interest in it, um, which is why I deal with psychology every single day. Um, because I'm in retail, which we're, which is, which comes very, which comes very handy for the people you have to deal with because you have to deal with so many different personalities. <laughs> so you can't please everybody. I mean, there's people that will have an hard time. People give you a hard time because they think this because they want to challenge you. But as I said, a challenge is a good thing. And everything so yeah I ended up going there uh, for I ended up going there graduating and then I went to um, and then eventually I went to Bridgewater State University where I was there for four years from 2012 to 2016 graduated um, and I haven't been to school since because I've been trying to recoup all the money that I spent on that on those two degrees because I paid um, I was helped a little bit but I paid my a portion of it, so it wouldn't feel like my parents were what like my like I was. I paid for one bit, and then my parents helped me pay for another bit. Uh, and they helped me pay for books and stuff. They they kind of let me money and make sure I was good. They helped me get good spending habits, so I didn't spend all my money. So I had so I had all the money I could so I can buy books. Because uh, I'm just gonna say books were like a grand. Could have been like it could have been close to a grand when I went to college and it that was a big check to write um and i sat and i think the biggest check i wrote was eleven hundred dollars tops um and um so that's the reason why i've done i did the online virtual journal and that's the reason why i like to do special topics and this um radio show will allow me to do that um currently i am you know, Right now, trying to earn money so I can go back to school. Um, eventually, gonna, what I'm eventually going to do is in the next couple of months, I'm going to get another job in my field or go back to school. I'm eventually going to go back to my field and then go to back to school so I can try to um, so I can try to uh, go um, go for my master's, hopefully in psychology or counseling psychology, whichever one. Um, and I hope that dream comes true in the next, I don't know, two years maybe, two or three years, I'm gonna guess, or whatever I decide to do with my, with my money. Um, but, uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I just wanna tell you guys that that's my background. So that's the reason why I always kind of seem kind of cool and collected on, on screen. And that's the reason why when you guys watch my vlogs, I helped out my friends and, and I team, uh, t felt teammates and everybody else. That's just the way how I run, and that's the reason why I'm helpful, and that's the reason why I like talking to my fellow humans and spreading the word on the internet and everything else. Um, but enough about that. So, uh, so the next however term, uh, undetermined amount of time that I'm on here, um, I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I want to talk to you guys about two things um, in the next 10, 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, I don't know. Um, well, 10 minutes, well, probably 10, 14 minutes because I'm only going to run these 25 minutes, 24 minutes or so. Um, 
because that's technically a TV episode. <laughs> um, so, um, one thing I noticed a lot lately is, um, I have to address this because a lot of people on YouTube are monetized. I noticed a lot of people are getting demonetized because of their content. This includes horror narration, uh, copyrighted stuff, video games, and the like. Um, so, I don't know what it is about freedom of speech and about allowing people to create their own stuff and why people have a problem with it. Now, I know, now I know with the horror narration, um, it's not considered out of... It's not considered the norm, and especially people who do cold case files, like Kaylee Elise, who's no longer active as of this moment, because her channel is still up and archived, but, um, um, Kaylee Elise, if you guys want to check her out, um, you want to check her out, she does, she did, um, Dark Matter, she did Dark Matters, uh, cases that went unsolved for years, and cases that are still unsolved, she covered everything from, um, the Kitty Cabin murders, all the way to, all the way to disappearances, all the way to uh, Jane Doe's and John Doe's, um, that don't have a name, or is the name, or is the, and I always felt that was an interesting um, series or slash topic because there's a lot of people out there that there's a lot of people out there that kind of met a bad fate, and for those people who met a bad fate, you know it's. It, it, it's kind of sick that another human being would want to put the end for another human being's life, so, um, and Kaylee, uh, Kaylee is trying to put it out, but she gets demonetized because of the copyright, because of all the stuff, maybe sensitivities from the families, um, but I think she's shedding light on it, but I think she shed light on a lot of stuff, unfortunately, her, de the, mon the, the demonetization apocalypse is, is everybody, called it, um, really hurt a lot of, and forced a lot of people to come to Patreon, but a lot of people are reluctant to throw down money for something that isn't really, um, that's something they don't believe in, but there's people out there that, like, Kaylee had a long list, had a laundry list of people that supported her, because raising the awareness for some of those people, and, you know, shedding some light on just how dark some people can be, and how bad some people can be, just to you know, take the life of an innocent human being, or capture, or whoever, um, Kaylee obviously did a great job, it's just YouTube being screwy, obviously, um, my friend Thomas has also been a victim of YouTube's iron foot, uh, well, under the iron boot type stuff, um, did I just make a Nazi reference, I'm, I'm sorry YouTube, um, they're probably like, oh, we gotta take him down, um, you know, it's like any other corporation, they gotta protect their rights, but a lot of, but Kaylee researches it, she she makes the calls, she makes sure everybody's quote, quotient with it, she doesn't just put that out and just anger people, she talks to the people and she figures out what's going on. She does her research and it's all thorough and it's just to raise the awareness, it's not to spin on anybody's grave, it's just to raise awareness and do all that. Um, and that's kind of uh, disappointing because a lot of the topic stuff that people do on YouTube is useless. Um, there's like two or three guys that have like a billion, billion subscribers because they do some stupid, some stupid stuff. Obviously PewDiePie and, the, and obviously two other guy, two or three other guys have figured out the formula of how to do it. But um, just to know, I don't have anything against PewDiePie, so he's he's actually a pretty funny guy, actually. He's actually one of, not one of the influences, but he's, but he kind of, he's kind of one of the guys, like, he's like, any guy can go on and just do this randomly stuff, and people will start watching him, so, and, you know, congratulations to him for having, for having that, so, um, but it's unfair to people who do the real stuff, and they get to monetize, and they have to, you know, most of the guys that have two billion subscribers or whatever, or a billion viewers or whatever, I don't care. Usually they are set for, usually they're set and usually they make a lot of money every month. Um, you go on Social Blade or any social media calculating website, you're, they're, they're making a bucket load of cash um, because of all their views. Um, but they obviously they found out the algorithm, but 
you know, there's people that find out the algorithm for the more important stuff, and it's kind of a shame that that happens. Um, it, it reminds me of my, it reminds me of, you know, just that untapped potential. People just don't see it right in front of them because they think it's bad, you know, because people have a fear if something's going to get good, they're going to keep it down, so. And some things are kept down for, for necessary reasons. It's kind of evil, but it kind of happens, so. Um, and history's full with it, so. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to address. I just don't agree with YouTube's uh, policies, and I just, and that's the reason why I don't monetize my videos, and that's the reason why I have a day job, because I didn't want to rely on this, obviously. Um, and such. Um, also, second, um, I also um, want to thank, um, want to just, um, just thank the, just thank the gods that, um, April was okay after, after her stomach bug this weekend. So what happened was, is, I'll tell you guys a little bit more. So what happened was, is on Thursday night, there must have been something, there must have been something going around, the stomach bug going around, it's never least. And she must have caught it somewhere at work because, you know, there's about a billion people. There's about 200 people at work. You're going to catch something, right? Um, or at home or something because she, she lives with two cats and, you know, and everything else. So it's it's kind of easy for her. Um, her immune system is getting better, which is great. But it's, it's actually the best it's been in at least two, three years. I think when she broke her wrist, she was really stressed out. She really couldn't. She was a lot of pressure. She was really breaking down a lot mentally. and She really couldn't just rest. Now she's resting a little bit more because she's understanding a little bit more. Um, this partially due to uh, some of her self-discovery from her and also some friendship support from me and other people and her friends in the, uh, the, the, uh, anime, com the anime community that she has. Um, and uh, the reason why that is is because April is a devout... Uh, anime fan. She's a big fan of Sailor Moon, and yes, I did watch Sailor Moon when I was a kid. It was kind of an interesting show. I mean, who wouldn't? What guy wouldn't want to watch a bunch of girls transform and transform with uh, sailor suits on? You know, it's just kind of one of those things that you that you had growing up. It's kind of funny, um, even though the show is, uh, even though the show is um, towards the female demographic. But I've watched. Um, but I watch shows like like uh, Ghost Hunt, that's female demographic, so, you know, it's kind of like watching a chick flick, I'm, I'm not too embarrassed, it's kind of funny actually, I, I you see that happen, so, um, but, so what happened was this Friday, she ended up not doing well, and then Saturday, she was almost about to come in, but she said no, Sunday she came in, got, the ground, got on the ground running, she's been doing good ever since, and I just wanted to let you guys know, she's she's trying to pack the hours in, and she's really trying to do good, um, she's really trying to get comfortable, and she's really trying to get her pace up, and try to train her brain a little bit more before she goes out to do something else, because um, she has the confidence, but I but you want to be a little bit more consistent, and I want her to grow a little bit further as I go, and I've grown a little bit further myself since I have changed a little bit myself, maybe good or bad, I think I may have changed for the good in some ways and bad in the others, <laughs> so, you know, there's good and bad traits to have, but it's a good bad, technically, um, you know, I, I have to deviate a little bit, and she kind of helps me do that a little bit, so it's kind of funny how she does that, um, she's a, she's kind of an interesting Say that she's a special girl. She's a special girl. So, um, I the way I think right now, she's progressing. Right now, it's she's doing well, and she can fend for herself. She can do well, and I think she's really got potential. And I think she's got fire in her. I think she's got fire in her belly, as they'd say. Um, and I think she has a lot of potential, and I think she can keep going and going and going. Her attitude's just her. Her attitude is not perfect, but it's ideal for what she's trying to do. And that's all I can ask for because I'm not looking for the most perfect, but I'm looking for the ideal, and that's what I'm looking for. Um, and no, I'm and no, I'm not referring to a girlfriend. I'm just I'm just working to an ideal setup for her. So, 
So that's what that is. And she knows what she's got to do. She's very responsive. I think she's learning a little to tackle her problems a little bit better. She's being a little bit more cautious. Like she took two days out of her out of out of her time. It may have put us on the back pedal on on drive, but I don't want her, I don't want her getting sick and, and hurling over me or anybody else, right? Because she had a stomach bug, you know that, you know. And I know how those feel. They suck, um, pretty much. So. Um, they're never fun, and, you know, they have their, you know, they're all, so I think she's progressing well, and I think things are going a-okay, I think she's got a little ways to go, but I think she's, but I think she can grow, and she has to do a lot more self-discovery, and I'm pushing her as best I can to ensure she's doing well, make sure she's in, make sure she's on time, she's doing good with that, she's not late anymore, which is great, she actually came in today about 350 because she takes about 10 minutes to get ready, so, um, you know, she just, she just paces herself, which is great, she doesn't have to get right on it, but she paces herself, it's awesome, um, so, yeah, um, I ended up not, I ended up telling her how the day went and everything, I, I told her that our CNS came in today at about 12, 1230, just kind of threw us off, I think we'll get through it tomorrow, though, because it's, it's, it's the same load we've had before. Um, you know, that's, that, that's, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, for those of you who want to know, um, she was actually born... She was actually not born... She was actually born here in... Um, she, was, she lives up here, but I think she was born elsewhere. Uh, she she lived in she was raised in Cambridge. She moved here because her mother got sick from the environmental pollution in um, in Cambridge because in the big city. She had to move here and um, and she's actually had to help provide um, provide for the family, which is a great thing. I, I do the same here, so on some level. Um, yeah, she's a misunderstood entity, but. Um, I think she's doing well, and I think um, I, I think she's on. A, I think she's a little uh, high wired at this point, and that's probably with the territory. She's probably trying to figure out her limits, which is not bad, um, and everything else. So, <sighs> go April, uh, as I always can say. Well, I have to bid you a good night. Because, um, because I'm nearly nearing my runtime, and I want to end it here. Um, so everybody, my name is Michael Camo here for the MC Radio Show, episode two, here on Wednesday night. Um, as usual, everybody, long live America, long live democracy, long live this great country, uh, long live our rights and our freedoms, and pray for my friends, pray for my relatives, pray for my grandparents' spirits, pray for my grandmother, and uh, watch all over them, and let the spirits of my of my grandfather and my grandmother look upon me. Mike come out here, signing off for tonight with this. Good night, folks, and I will see you on Friday night. Peace, and God bless you all.